Hi everyone, Emma here. I want to show you how to make these lovely earrings. So these are made with mostly AliExpress components. And with the exception of the pearl, the pearl is a Swarovski six millimeter pearl, but you can put whatever you want in there. Um, the, that hole is kind of small, so you're kind of limited that way, but you could put um, some four millimeter pearls on a head pin or, um, you know, a specialty bead, shaped bead, that kind of thing. I'm sure you can come up with some amazing ideas. Um, a crystal. Uh, I did try a five and a six millimeter bicone crystal in that area. It was a bit too big, um, but a, uh, a four millimeter would work fine too. So let's take a look at what we have. So these chandelier earrings, this, you can order these. They come in silver. They come in this bright gold and they come in the KC gold. Now I ordered these uh, years and years ago. So I'll take a look and see if I can find the, the length for these. But all you have to do is put um, chandelier earring for jewelry making and stuff like this will come up. But I'll, I'll do my best to find the link for you. So let's take a look at these. Then these, I should show you the, <laughs> these drop crystals. So I did do an unboxing of these in a previous video. And when I did the unboxing, I was like, I have to get all the colors. They're just amazing. So they are absolutely beautiful. They have a beautiful AB on them as well. So let's take a look. They did The others did come, so I'll just show you in the bin so these are all the colors they have so there's black silver clear um oh, i can't remember iris is this one um dark green this is another type of iris uh then a um a gray light green dark blue turquoise, uh, light turquoise, and then the um, these colors here, some yellow, really pretty, and some darker kind of brownie colors, and then pink and red. So that's all the colors. I think it was two or three dollars for I can't remember how many's in there. Maybe 30. So definitely worth it. You're going to need some jump rings. These here are um, uh, bales. I don't know why I couldn't think of the word. Um, and I got these on AliExpress a couple of years ago as well. I will find these for you. I'm They're pretty popular. So these are the silver ones. They come in the different golds as well. Um, they are incredible. They're amazing. And I think it's like a hundred for a few dollars. They're super, super cheap, but they are really pretty. It's just, there's no like particular design. It's just the little kind of etching look to it, but they are amazing. So you need those. Um, you do need for if you're going to use a six millimeter pearl, which is what I'm using, you're going to need one of these um, bead ends or connectors, they call them. And this is what they look like. So and they get glued in. So and then, like I said, jump rings, I'm using a four millimeter jump ring for the pearl. Uh, just because if you take a look here, it's quite um, like there's not a lot of space. So every time you add something, it makes it longer. So these kind of go through either side. Um, I would have liked to have connected this directly to that. But um, I tried some wire wrapping and stuff like that. It didn't look good at all. So I thought I'm just going to use those. 
And you're going to need some ear wires. So these ear wires I just got from AliExpress. They are stunning. They're so beautiful. Let me show you the other one. They have crystals in it. And that's what they look like on the side. And they are so beautiful. So we're going to use that. And then I'm using uh, five millimeter, 18 gauge. This is variable how you want to do it. Um, the only reason I did the 18 gauge is that's all I had. And you know what? It actually looks like it's part of the chandelier. So, and that's to attach these guys. So let's go ahead. This is like super simple. So I already went ahead and glued this. So you're just going to take, I would find the side of the bead that the finish is sticking out of so you'll notice that with some of the higher end beads one side there's a bit of a tail so you can either like kind of pick that off or just leave it and that's the side that i ended up gluing this to i'm using a um like a loctite type glue it's crazy glue but it's gel and just put a tiny little bit because it's gel it keeps its shape so you don't want it getting like you can I don't know if you could see that there's a bit of a smudge there and over on the other side but you can see it dries clear from a distance I can't see it it's just by looking at the camera I can see it so, and you would just drop let it dry hold it for you know maybe a minute or so because I do find the gel it takes longer to dry than say crazy glue so that's all you need to do for that so we'll just set that aside so let's get these guys in this is super simple you can usually do this with your fingers so find your hole on your crystal and get your bail positioned and squeeze and that's how easy it is to do these guys if you need help you can always use your um, pliers for that and we'll probably use it on this one this one's closed so you actually have to open it a bit so I just put my pliers in between the two spaces and then open up the the um, pliers and it should open this up so you can just push it open like that I wouldn't go too far. You don't want to um, distort your bale. And cut the hole. Like that. Get the other hole there. Sometimes the holes are a bit blocked. I don't know if this one is. So I'm going to try my pliers to close it. Hopefully it's in there. Pretty easy how quickly it goes in. And if you want these to kind of dangle back and forth like this, then don't tighten this as much. But I'm tightening it to the point where I want um, the bale to be secure. So that's why I'm doing it. So let's get the next one. So these are amazing. <laughs> I, you know what, I had this on my desk for a while and I kept forgetting to do it. So I thought, time to do these. So you're gonna need five of these because you have, you have five spots. Okay, this one needs to be open. So I'll just put your pliers in between the space like that. And then take your hands and move it open. that in and then get this guy back squeeze there and there's the fifth one yeah these bales are amazing I gotta start using them more because they're so they're so pretty, like for such a dainty little thing. And they're super affordable. I'll try and do an estimation of how much it costs to make these earrings. Because I think you'll be surprised. 
If you were doing a craft sale, and okay, this is harder to close than I thought. Let me grab my pliers. It might be so. Remember how I was saying it distorts the side, the edge. So just be careful with that. See if I can maneuver this back into place. Yeah, if you were doing a craft show and you wanted to have some items that are super cheap to for people to buy, this would be great. You could make a profit. There we go. Okay, so there's those. So let's get these guys on the chandelier. I'm going to start with the the bead. Just makes it a little easier because it is a little bit of a, a maneuver because you're going inside that spot and these are super tiny. So let's try these pliers first but I may have to switch. Oh that worked. I would put it in this first. I tried it doing it the other way. I like to put my dangly pieces on first and then attach it. But this is a there's a bit of maneuvering to this one, so I'm just gonna pop that on the jump ring and then grab hold of the jump ring. These pliers, these ones here, are rounded, and I ordered them by mistake. I wanted the other type that are flat, and I found it, um, let's see if I can squeeze these to get now. I find these rounded ones just move around too much. There we go. There. Okay, so let's get these guys on. I am going to switch out those for these. And just a gentle twist to open that up. Grab hold of your clips and then onto the ring. And a little twist back closed. Keep doing the same thing till they're all on. So, just a little twist, put it through the loop, and then through this loop. Like that. There. That's not completely straight here. There. The next one. There's the opening. I like the smaller jump rings. You can use a bigger jump ring for sure. But I like the smaller jump rings. I like it to look more like a piece of a chain link than an actual jump ring. And it's just so that it disappears in the design. Like that. 
next one. This one is not 18 gauge, I can tell by looking at it. It must have been in the, the bin by accident. So let's grab another one. There's seven, there's five. I'll show you the difference. There's a 18 gauge and there's the one I pulled out. So you can use either. Again, I like the 18 gauge because it looks like it's um, more substantial. So it actually looks like a piece of jewelry to me. And there's the last one. that piece there so we're just going to add so again you can add some stuff here you can add a pearl you can add a crystal that matches and have it dangled a little more but I like to do like this attach it directly to the earring so let's open this up we'll have to be careful with this one it feels a little weak so I'll just that right there and then close it there ta-da so simple they're so beautiful so there you go lovely pair of earrings Ta -da. <laughs> thanks for joining me i hope you enjoyed that and i will put the links to these items in the description just below take care everybody